ma'am. Hello, Ms. Orr. Today we will continue to learn more about vertical addition. But first, do you remember what vertical addition is? Of course. Vertical addition is a technique to add numbers in which the numbers being added are written one under the other using place value. For example, if we need to add 34 and 53. Step 1 is to write the numbers one under the others using place value. Here is the first number 34 and 53 under it. Step 2 is to write the plus sign before the second number and mark the areas for the answer. In step 3, we add the digits in the ones place. We have 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 equals 7, which we will write as the answer for ones place. Then we move to the tens place, where we have 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8 which we will write down as the answer for the tens place. This means that 34 plus 53 equals 87. Very good, Sam. Now, in the last lesson, you had asked, what if on adding the digits in a place, we get an answer having more than one digit? Yes, yes. And that is what we will learn to solve in this lesson. Oh, yay! Let's take an example. 36 plus 47. So we write the numbers one under the other. Then we put the plus sign before the second number and mark the area for the answers. We start with ones place. In ones place, we have 6 and 7. Sam, what is 6 plus 7? Miss R, it is 13. Correct. And 13 is a two-digit number, but we can have only one digit in a place. Yes. The rule we will follow here is, if on adding the digits in a place, the answer is of more than one digit, then we write the last digit as the answer for that place and carry over the remaining digits to the place on the left. On adding 6 and 7, we got 13. 3 is the last digit of 13, so we will write it down as the answer for the ones place. And carry forward the remaining digit 1 to the tens place. Okay, but it does not make sense. 13 is 10 and 3. And after using 3 in ones place, 10 remains. So, why are we not carrying over 10 instead of 1? Ah, good question. But we are carrying over 10. Remember, the value of 1 in 10's place is 10. Yes, yes. That is what we learnt in the lesson about understanding numbers. Thanks for reminding me. Now it makes sense. I am glad. Now let's see what is there in tens place. We have 1, 3 and 4. Can you add these for me? 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 plus 4 is 8. So the answer is 8. Correct. The answer for tens place is 8. This means that 36 plus 47 equals 83. That's right. Miss R, I need to practice. Sure, you can add 54 and 38. Okay, I will write the numbers one under the other. Here comes 54 and 38. Now I will write the plus sign before the second number and mark the area for answer. Starting with ones place, we have 4 and 8. 4 plus 8 equals 12, which is a two-digit number. Now, following the rule, I will write the last digit of 12, which is 2, as the answer for 1's place and carry forward the remaining digit 1 to the 10's place. 
Correct. Then we move to the tens place. Here we have 1, 5 and 3. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 3 is 9. Which is the answer for the tens place? So, 54 plus 38 is 92. Very good. I have one more doubt. What if the answer for the tens house is also having more than one digit? Well, in that case, we will still follow the same rule. Let's see with an example. 65 plus 87. Step 1. We write the numbers one under the other using the place value. Step 2. We put the plus sign before the second number and mark the area for the answer. And starting with the ones place, we have 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. Correct. And 12 is a two-digit number. So following the rule, we will write the last digit 2 as the answer for the ones place and carry over the remaining digit 1 to the tens place. Yes. Now coming to the tens place. Here we have 1, 6 and 8. 1 plus 6 is 7 and 7 plus 8 is 15. And 15 is once again a two-digit number. So, we will write the last digit 5 as the answer for the tens place. And what do we do with the remaining digit 1? We carry it over to the place on the left of the tens place. That would be the hundreds place. Now, in hundreds place, we have only one. So the answer for hundreds place is one. And that gives us the sum of 65 and 87. It is 152. Vertical addition is super interesting. Yes, it is. And next, we will learn vertical subtraction. Until then, keep practicing. Please like, share and subscribe.